Uh, hello, everybody who is watching uh, this current Twitch live stream of Legends of Redwall or who is watching the YouTube video. Uh, quick announcement. Uh, three people will not be joining us tonight. I know it's a lot. And I know we were in the middle of battle, but say la vie. Uh, currently, um, the uh, person who is playing Hope is currently at the ER with her mother. Uh, she had an injury happen, so hearts and minds, hearts and minds. Um, Valian, um, as per usual, will not be able to appear because um, his uh, family always comes first. And his wife is out of town, so he has to look after the kiddo. Um, uh, Damien will not be joining us this time. Uh, things happened in the chat, in the Discord chat. I will not go into details, but I was trying to teach him a lesson about, like, limiting some certain things and did not take it too well. Uh, he didn't get the memo of how he's not really suspended, but... You know, semantics. Anyway, to the actual recap. Give me a second. I have water up my nose. <laughs> Ow. What did you do? I want to take a, a, a swig of water, but some uh, some of the water splashed and got up my left nostril. So, yeah. Okay, though. Anyway, recap. We last left our heroes with Sunflower and Balion being dragged through a dark forest by a butt rope who are then freed by a snake named Silas, attempting and failing to stealthily escape. Then BAM! Scary battle against spider-infested rat corpses. Finally meet Mama Spider. Now almost killed Balion because somebody didn't double-check Mama Spider's strength. Stats. Yeah, the end. But what really happened as flavor text, <laughs> Balion was going through every worst-case scenario through his head, and it just Felt real. Boom. He only had one HP left. I mean, Still bad. Five. He has five. Yeah, I could have swore he was at five. I swore he was at one. Let me double check his. I thought he was at sheet. three. Ha! Ah, I was right. He is at five. Ha ah. <laughs> ha. And uh, let's start back where we left. Which ironically was the last attack during the session, which was the widow. So it's Damien's turn. I'm going to have to pull out Damien, Alion, Hope. Let me just click all this shish net. Uh, that's the wrong person. Okay. Do. Okay. Character sheets. Okay. Anyway. Let's see here. Damien. Uh. Uh, seeing the commotion, he will aid his fellow uh, fox friend by attacking the spider rat in front of him. Don't forget to get sneak attack. Eh. For level three, I think it's 2d6. Yeah, fuck did he put his sneak attack shit? Well, he doesn't know how to add the global modifier things to a sheet. Yeah, I don't think he has it okay. set up in his sheet yet. He's still pretty uh, new Yeah. Okay, that's relatively good. Uh, let's see here. Uh, he will then uh, do something he should have been doing all this time and yes, use indeed. cunning action. If you're wondering, he did not have a player's handbook, neither did Withered or Rosie. So in their defense, they did not have a book, which I had to give. Just so you know. But some of this stuff you can look up online. I know, but um, it helps out. He will disengage Woo! and then uh, over here. Oh, Paul, it right. is your turn. Okay, so... I, I just want to get some stuff straight before act. I take a dash ac action and then, uh, you know, a, a battle thing, right? And could I still use my bonus act, bonus action after that? Dash action would require actual action. For you, it takes up your action. Yeah, that's specific for the rogue. If you're wondering, okay. The bonus well, action is for the. Rogue. I'm just gonna look at the others. Hold, um, holding onto my injured arm, say. I. I don't think we can fight these guys. We have to run. Use Bardic in wait. Do I want to use Bardic Inspiration or uh? One is a one is a bonus action. The other is a reaction. Done. What are you attempting? Okay, I'm. I just want us to flee from the battle right now to go like further into the forest to find our friends so we can regroup. 
I want to use Cat's Grace so that, or at least um, full strength, so we can get away from that horde. Well, I think you already have um, that ability on Hope, which I think it's a concentration, right? Um, that's actually. Uh, yeah, you would have to break con. Uh, if it is a concentration, you have to break concentration on hope and then focus concentration on yourself. Yeah, it's only uh, a one person spell. I know that for sure. What are y'all talking about? Sorry. Um, uh, enhance ability. Oh, that yeah, that is a one person. Okay, my bad. No concentration. Yeah, I couldn't remember if it was concentration or not. Let me look it up quick. I don't yes, have any I useful don't spells have for battling. That spell. God. Frickin' damn it. Um, okay, I still spelled it wrong. Okay, um, if I use kick, does that do a knockback thing? You can do a shove action. Yes, it is concentration. Okay. Oh, I can do a what now? A shove action. You can choose a target to shove away from me. Can I choose a, choose a target to shove away from a party member? If they're close to you, yes. Can I... And you try to kick this motherfucker in away from hope. Is that what you're trying to say? I mean, yeah, and use bardic inspiration. Okay, so the kick would require an action, and the <laughs> bardic inspiration would be a bonus. Yes. Yeah. We have to run from this fight. You can't handle this by yourself. All right. Okay, so use bardic inspiration. Uh, can I get the kick? Uh, check. She doesn't know what to roll for the shove action. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't really, uh, like, uh, first okay. we have to see if it, that's a natural one. So I got to roll 1d100. Oh, I, I heard you say kick, so I, I kick. Oh, yeah, that that's what I required you to do, because you were attempting to kick your enemy away from you. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a 1d100. Oh, boy. All right, so let me double check on my notes. Okay, interesting. So how am I going to play this off? I think that sounds good. All right. Um, so as you, uh, attempt to kick, you, the, the spider rat you see before you kind of sees you way off and, like, he just nimbly, like, he just shambles to the side and you miss. You hear a loud... Sorry, what was that? I was being interrupted. Well, you hear a loud... Like something just crash landed. <laughs> It's coming from the sound of thunder. And then lightning strikes. Lightning strikes. Oh, come on. I'm pressing the correct button. Don't give me that shit. So uh, lightning strikes right over here and sets the tree ablaze. (laughs) And you see all the spider rats' attention turn towards the tree on fire. They seem mesmerized. Guys, we need to run. You see one of the uh, one of the little lure spiders like talking to one of its sisters. No, Harry, no! Don't look at the light! I can't help it. It's so beautiful. <laughs> is that an ant's life reference? You mean Bugs Life? Yeah, Bugs Life, yeah. Ants <laughs> is a totally different movie. <laughs> well, I also enjoyed Ants as well. Yeah. Uh, so, um, Vince, it is your turn. I'm gonna take my action to disengage. Well, how bad is, uh, Hope looking? Uh, let me double check her health. Who's Opal? My name's, I mean, <clears throat> my name's Apollo. Who's Opal? There's a character. Yeah, her name's Hope. That Hope. Oh, Opal. Hope. Hope looks pretty darn healthy. Yeah, okay. This was major. I, mean, I swore she got hit a few times. I have an arm injury. Let me double check. Okay, who set off the fire alarm? Who set off the fire alarm? It's not a fire alarm. It's some dumb person opening their car without unlocking it. Oh, yeah. Uh, Okay, so Hope has taken a bit of damage. She's looking a little bit worse for wear, but she's still standing. All right. Well, I'm going to go. I'm going to say, Hope, I'm booking it. Because I'm going to go. I'm going to also tell Damon, we're leaving. Okay. And then I'm going to bonus. disengaging, too. I'm gonna go more to the I'm gonna disengage go to the right and then north. So right about here and then north. Yep. Thank you. Okay. No problem. Uh, sunflower, you're currently being carried by Balion. Yep, I am. Who just took a mandible to the chest? Yes. Not looking good. I'm trying to remember if medicine's 
skill allows me to do some extra mess and hurt <laughs> no I can't remember. <laughs> Oh yeah, by the way, where the area that I'm at, could you clear it a little more since I'm, uh, I have dark vision? No, I can't. Too far. <laughs> Don't move until I tell you. Don't see anything besides stabilize someone. Yeah, you could stabilize someone, but that's about it. I have a specific feat that lets me heal people with it. So what are you doing? Well, since I can't heal, which is a pain in the butt, uh, the best thing I can do, since he's carrying me, is... Yell run faster? <laughs> I don't have something like that. There's no magic, remember? No, just yells, run faster. Uh, your character's going, run faster! No, but I will do... <coughs> oh, I'm trying to remember the last joke I s said to the spider. Uh... Just say a random one. All right, I'm going to do vicious mockery, and she's going to turn to the spider. Um, I guess you really don't like how I spin my jokes around. I guess I I weave them together better. Living throw. You're mocking yourself. I can't say she was good at it. I know. I'm just joking. She saves. That's not a saving throw. Uh, vicious it mockery must is succeed a, a wisdom saving throw. Yeah, but you just rolled wisdom. Yeah. Unfortunately, her character sheet is glitching on it. That's the best I can do. Ugh. See, I'm clicking Wisdom Saving Throw right now. It's not doing jack crap. Jack crap. Clap trap. What's this? You just, not like, out of anything. nowhere, you guys. Oh. All right. Now it works. <laughs> sure. Now it works. And it's still passed. Okay, just to be fair, I was clicking on it. Uh, I think that's about it. Okay, well, Balion will continue carrying you and dash. I believe in him. He got this. He's trying to give uh, the thing disadvantage, but... Yeah. <laughs> and abandons... And, and abandons uh... I just had to get him over there, okay? I know, I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where uh, he's Vince, going. Can I, I, can I get a perception check? Uh... Hey, what? Vince? Yeah. All right. Okay, the advantage of dark vision. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, and in the distance, you see trees, you see, you see, um, you see, uh, branches break and two figures just leap out as you see Balion with your sister over his shoulder, like a sack of potatoes. And I call out to them. It's a free action. So yeah, I go, Balion, this way. He notices you and makes a beeline and he's not looking so good. <laughs> Yeah, he has a hole in his chest. He's bleeding profusely. Vince, what do you see? Alion! <laughs> she couldn't hear me screaming. Yeah, I can hear you, but I can't see. Hope will use her action to disengage and move. Uh, let's see here. Spider rats are currently enthralled by the fire. This one willingly moves out of your range of attack, so you get an attack of opportunity. Miss Opalis. Solemn process. Nope. Kind of, yeah. What? Sorry. Uh, so basically, you have an opportunity to attack it or uh, whatever. Um, I want to use my, I'm going to use my short sword against it and use Bardic Inspiration on it. Okay. Do it. By the way, you only have one uh, short sword attack. You cannot use Bardic Inspiration outside of your own turn. Oh. Uh, how do you want to kill him? Decapitation. Decapitation! This is for my arm! Uh, as it's walking forward towards the fire, it just <laughs> falls over. Um, the rest okay. seem to just walk around you um, towards the fire. And now they're just staring at it. Hey, and I just moved Widow. Now it's up to Damien. We will move up here. Apollos, now it is here officially your turn. I'm going to take my dash act regroup with the others. I don't yeah. feel very safe at the moment. So right here, right here, and then right here. Okay. As I'm guessing you want to avoid the rest. Yeah. Vince. All right. The fact that I'm seeing Balion all fucked up, I'm going to move up to him and I'm going to say, quickly, stay still. And no. I'm going to use my... You hear um, Sunflower Year. No, we can't get going. Mother's behind us. This will only take my action, so. And you actually hear... I'm back, little morsel. Okay, where that is. 1d6 plus 4. 
He also gets back a number. Of it. He also gets to roll his hit dice, the heal as well. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to heal him seven first, then I'm going to switch from myself to Balian. That is one of my charges. Another nine health dice. Nice. He can roll up to his max amount of, amount of hit die if he wanted to. Well, wow. all right. As you do this, you see him. Uh, like he is bleeding profusely and you use your abilities as a healer to basically look over him, see what the problem is. You patch him up and, and it's he basically, thing. yeah, he, he is pretty much bandaged all over his torso, still carrying your sister like a sack of potatoes with her rear showing to the rest of the party. Oh my. Um, okay, I'm going to take my cloak off and cover her up there. He then is reminded yeah. by that and sets Sunflower down. <laughs> and for my rest of my movement, I say, let's get the fuck out of here since we got everybody back. Yeah. Everyone seems to second that motion. Seems so. Basically just like whimpering in pain at this point, but I can go through with it. I'm not the one that's been stabbed through the stomach by a, a leg, so. Yeah. He's going to need some, some bed rest after that one. Oh, boy. I mean, he should be doing pretty good considering. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, that's why I'm not complaining. But still, like when it comes to like injuries, like it will take some time to actually have the person to fully heal. Uh, when it comes to serious injuries, uh, I'm going to implement something very soon. Um, I've been working on it for a while. Uh, so basically, anytime that you get low on health or anything like that, you're considered seriously injured. And you were considered slower as a result. So kind of like exhaustion. And yeah, kind of heavily impeded. You know, like you'll have disadvantage on your attacks depending on where the injury is. You know, stuff like that. But it is taking a really long while to implement something like that. Still working out the kinks. <laughs> well, <laughs> what I would say you do is... Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> Uh, what I would say you should do is there is something that kind of does this in older editions where I've seen it in another edition anyway, but basically each time you basically every time you get down to that, uh, that threshold where you're seriously wounded, what you need to do is make it to where it's only like a minus one to everything or something like that. Right. That way it's still fair, but not overly encumbering. You know what I mean? Oh yes. But I'm just talking you about really serious mind. injuries. Like if you're at... If you're at one hit point, you're probably like you're getting down to the single digits. Yeah, yeah, like if you're down at single digits, you're struggling just to breathe. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You take minuses each time you go down to it. Exactly. But uh, uh, it, I am looking at earlier additions to like work this stuff out, but it is taking a while. Gotcha. But okay, so I need to know your guys' escape plan. We're going to go back the same way we came. Because yeah. guess what's over there? We got another spider that we could uh, be like, she's coming. <laughs> oh, Lord, she's coming. Well, oh, I my. don't not know in a good way. how you guys came through since I was kidnapped. Yeah, but you, all you need to do is follow Vince. We got this. Yeah. All right. Uh, as but you guys... I'm going to probably take some twigs and leaves and whatnot and cover up our tracks as we go. Don't we want them to follow us, though? No. Do you want the Survival big mother to come check. after us where we're not ready yet? Survival check. Vince? Sunflower. I would like to help. 25. Oh, because I thought we were going to run back to Arachna's base with them trailing behind us. Uh, you, t you actually don't need all that kind of stuff that you mentioned. You actually find a really big branch that fell. And it has a lot of thistles and everything, so you just sweep behind. I was thinking that or my tail, either way. Yep. You just attach it to your tail and you just start running. <laughs> so it is always uh, uncomfortable when someone's pulling on your tail. Yep. As you are running, um, you come upon the place where Arachno was based, and you notice she is no longer there. Ah, thick. I look you up. actually see you actually see trail of what looks like green blood. What we're we doing here? We gotta keep going. Yep, let's As keep going. Here, crashing behind you, and you just look behind you, and you just see widow is just charging after you. God 
Dang it, I thought that would slow her down. I scream, Arachno! As you uh, clear the forest uh, and you run out into the wide open spaces, um, don't do it, Fluffy. I know you want to, but don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do, don't do it. Don't make the reference. I know you want to. Run, Forrest, run. Gosh, run, darn Forrest. it. I told you not to make the reference. You told Fluffy. You told Fluffy. You told Fluffy. Nice. It's not Rosie. Darn it. <laughs> and you yeah, hinted on it but heavily. But I, I said run for it, not run for us. Uh, okay, so as you break out into the wide open, you are just booking. Okay. Yeah, you are just like making a break for like the like the most secure shelter you can possibly think of. Like, right. like yep, yeah, basically. And as you like charge forward, notice that the thundering footsteps are no longer charging. You mean the sound well, of this crashing spider? Who's going to you, look back? That is a great question. <laughs> Who is going to look back? Well, which sound was it first? Uh, the the uh, thundering sounds of the footprints have stopped following. So the thunder that brought the lightning or the crashing of no, the spider? No, the thundering footsteps. footsteps. I said footsteps. They're just loud enough that they sound like thunder. But spiders I have a don't fear have that feet. if we look behind us, Asmodeus would just be staring down at us. That's why I'm asking who's going to look back to check. I vote Damien. Vince got this. I look back. Uh, you notice that as you look back as you're running, you see w- w- uh, uh, the giant spiders, one of its legs reach out into the sunlight. It instantly retracts and it like paces in the forest. This spider does not like sunlight. To the light. Oh, thank God. Guys, we can slow down now, I think. Just try to stay out of the shade. You see, you know, Vince kind of goes down. He's kind of huffing and puffing because, you know, heavy-ass armor. You're not the one carrying fire village. Z- exaggerating about the tent. Like 75 pounds, right? Yep. Heavy-ass fucking tent. You notice that the uh, thunder that you heard overhead, you can see the heavy clouds in the distance. It was a passing storm. Is clearly moving out to sea. That'd be is where the pirates are going to be. Towards Redwall? Sorry? Is it moving towards Redwall? Towards our direction? Oh, uh, or actually, I'm going to pull you guys over to the map so that way I can give you a general idea. Okay, so currently, you guys ran out of the um, woods. Can here. you take the turn order thing off? I can't see. Yeah, yeah, good. Okay, so you guys ran from here, and currently you're in the clearings right over here. The storm itself is moving this direction. Oh, okay. So we're near home. Yes, near- you are You are near uh, Redwall Abbey, yes. Well, actually, my actual home. Yes. We're from the Flatlands, remember? Yes, I know. Of course, I would appreciate it if you don't talk about my sister like that. I-, I know she's flat, but seriously, stop. <laughs> Anyway, go ahead and act. Uh, uh, fuck. Perfect. Sorry. What is it like having a family? Were you asking that too? You. you. I didn't hear the name. I'm sorry. Uh, Vince just looks at you and he just goes, well, for me, I think I had, well, I scratched behind my head. For me, I was lucky <laughs> as I give you a smile. Is and that's all really? I say about it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I'll like recognize. A uh, look on my face. I pat you on the head. It'll be all right. Right. I hope as Mr. You, Ragnar's okay. As you guys are talking, um, can I get a perception check from from who? The three of you. No, all three of you. Yeah, I'm getting there. Okay. And it's not dark, so Sunflower doesn't have disadvantage. Arcana. Hey, hey, hey! You, 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 you want to argue about this? I mean, I press wrong things all the time. It happens. <laughs> yeah, it happens. <laughs> there, I press perception. Okay, that Sunflower. Is- are you Somebody. good? Huh? Done banging? Hello? Are you done banging? Nobody was banging. What? Oh, a 19. <sighs> Someone was banging on my walls. Neighbors. Anyway. I can't see what I got, so... Uh, you got a six and a four. I'm in pain. <laughs> yes, you are. Vince, you're, you're kind of out of breath, so you're really not paying attention. You're busy trying to focus on, you know, catching your breath, you know, 
relaxing after such a trauma. Sunflower, you practically did nothing strenuous, so you're on high alert. And you uh, see out of the corner of your eye, something starts to reach for your brother. And you just see something fly, like, from the other end of your uh, vision and, like, pin it to the cart. Vince, you hear a <laughs> right next to you. Oh, Hey, what's going on? Uh, you see it. You see a spider that was reaching for Vince crawling up as you see a s- spear, a very crude spear sticking out of its skull as it curls up in a ball and dead. I look up and I'm looking at, looking around to see who threw it. I would highly suggest you don't rest there. Honey! Runs up and hugs him. One arm hug to uh, arm out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you see you, Clooney, actually, uh, very awkwardly, like, patting the little bunny on the head. <laughs> I would suggest you get your injured into Red Wall. My people yeah. are fortifying the outside so that those little spiders don't bother you. Right. Next time you go into the Widow's Fortress. You will be going with backup. I see he's also has some issue with uh, Widows too, Widow too, right? You can hear the disdain for Widow's existence in Clooney's voice. Apollos' eyes just go wide in awe, like the Hulk. Wow! Now I would suggest you get your injured into Redwall. Uh, we will okay. stay outside of Redwall Abbey and defend it. Thank you, Clooney. I hug him tightly again. <laughs> He he's very like uncomfortable at the fact that the a bunny rabbit is cl- hugging him. His hands are like high up, and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> "It's like I'm not touching this girl. I am not touching this girl." <laughs> Wait, how old do you think I am? Ten. I'm twenty one. You see his eye physically twitch. Did not see that coming. Does everyone think I- starts muttering under my voice and pouting? Point towards the. I'll talk to you later, Clooney. I would suggest you go to all of you. Yeah, we're going. I believe right now we're technically still under the flatlands. Yes, you are. I look over at a at a sunflower. Sunflower. <laughs> Name, man. I'm still getting used to the name. Sorry. Wow. Want to go uh, check in with the family? No, I better not. All right, then let's head to Red Bull then. You okay, sunflower? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Now's a good time for some music. Give me a second as I pull up my character sheet phone. Pull up the bagpipes again? No. She starts singing Binks's Brew. Binks is acting. Oh, yo. Um, Gather up the crew. It's time to ship I want to use blue my blue. pan flute. Oh, shit. <laughs> do, me, uh, do, do me a freaking performance. Did I do it? Damn. You done did it. What'd I get? 20 and a 22. Not a, not a nat 20, but a modified 20. Still pretty damn good. Uh, you start... Uh, it's like those old mythology like stories about, about the satyrs who would play the pan flute while dancing. She's doing exactly that. Cutting it. Um, you're cutting out for me. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, did you hear what I explained? No. Okay, so, uh, you know the legends of the satyrs with the pan flutes? How they dance around and, like, sing with the pan flutes? You're doing exactly that. Oh. You're just having a good old time with it. Does Vince know this song? And I want to share it with everyone. I don't know, Opalus, what are you uh, tuning? <laughs> I am tuning a song that I have loved since I was a child called The Sacred Duo by The Legend of Zelda. Spirit track. Okay. Well, whatever you do, don't hum it because that is copyright. I'm not going <laughs> to hum it. <laughs> and Vince, I'm not sure if you would know it. So, history check. All right. I got this. I believe okay, I, I'm going to hum it, but I'm going to like mute myself while I hum it because I, I need <laughs> yeah. to get it out of my system now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You do not know this song. Dang it. I can't sing to it then. <laughs> As you guys are uh, relatively walking. Faster and faster towards Redwall. You can see the outline of the of the um, south side of the um, walls 
and you can see that there are indeed barricades of like spikes like now situated around the edges of abbey as you see rats and stoats parrots um all working hard on these fortifications they're not going inside the abbey itself but they seem to be working hard on the outside thank you for your hard work everyone uh you actually see a very familiar uh face as you uh come towards the gates you see a very tiny baby squirrel dragging a very large club <laughs> barely barely lift it and just dragging it with all her might just out of the gate and then she sees you drops it onto one of the rat's feet and then runs towards you <laughs> and then she attaches herself to your leg and you just feel wetness Did she pee on me no tears she just looks at you she just looks at you there's tears just flowing down her cheeks i try to pick her up with one arm fine have a little boo boo so inside so i can get all patched up all right uh she then attaches to your non-injured arm and refuses to let go she is now there you see the older (laughs) older squirrel jess she was like Yes, she's been very upset since you've been gone. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't have to save my friend. Yeah. Uh, Ow. But Peach is adorable, don't you think? That's her name? An adorable name. Peach. You are a little peach. And yes, I chose <laughs> this picture. <laughs> <laughs> that face just shows, bitch, I'm adorable. <laughs> I just visibly when as my arm is burning. Vince goes when we get inside, I'll patch that up. As Vince also has a little bit of damage on himself too. And you, uh, as you walk t- through the gates, you will hear a little tiny voice on your uninjured arm go, "Eat this, oh Polly." Justin, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> so I have a question. How bad is your cuteness? Uh, what's that called? Cuteness overload? <laughs> no, there's a thing. Uh, cuteness aggression? That's it. Cuteness aggression. Where you want to hug something so bad. <laughs> <laughs> you want to squeeze it until it pops. Um, that is... Over 9,000? I have I have no answer. Classified. That information is classified. Ah. I'm also the injured you. Bark! Okay. When did you get here? I was here the whole time. Bark! Bring the battle. Bark! You see that there is, like, evidence of faked dirt on his face. He stuck his head in the ground. <laughs> like an awesome. What the hell is going on? Vince is just like, how is he alive? <laughs> just in his head. <laughs> and you hear a yelling in, in the abbey walls as you see the doors, like, burst open. And you see, a like, a person being thrown out of the door. Ah. Is it the fox? You see a female fox before you in a shawl. Shawl. I help her up. Ma'am, are you okay? What's going on here? I will warn you one last time, Sheila. You try to sell your bob kiss here again, and I will rearrange your face to where your rear is. Is that constant saying that? Because that, that's the only person. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Vince, what's going on? She was trying to smell her cursed concoctions here again. Vince just cocks an eye. Hey, you kind of look As I told you multiple times, Eye of Newt is not a sleeping pill. Mustard seed? Can I do a medicine check? <sighs> it is not a sleeping pill, Sunflower. It is. Eye of Newt is actually a Mustard treat. Seed. It, no, no. Uh, Eye of Newt is actually a treat amongst the Toad's people. But it's... Uh, you know, so I'll go for it. Vince, you know for a fucking fact that that has no medicinal purposes other than being a snack to Toad's. I go, Eye of Newt is just a Opalus snack Opalus doesn't toads. care. Opalus wants to get her arm wrapped up so that the throbbing will go away. Uh, if Constance actually seen... And she's like, oh, you, you see her eyes go from hard 
soft. And she was like, oh, you poor dear. Please come this way. Any more injuries should I know about? Yeah. Vince goes, I'm hurt, I, I point I'm at Balion specifically. <laughs> yeah, Val- Balion is barely standing. Oh. oh, I patched him up pretty good for what I for on the oh. on the. Oh, you poor dear! Oh. oh, you both come this way, Vince. Go get yourself down something to eat. The rest of you, if you have any injuries, come with me. If you don't, get yourself something to eat. Get yourself warmed up. Ow! Well, Vince actually is going to talk to a female fox for a second. Oh, Apollos gives him a <laughs> wink. Vince just goes to, like Vince goes. Hello there, I'm Vince. I offer a hand. Because I am actually quite polite. She smacks it away. I know who you are, child. Huh? What do you mean? As she shuffles towards the entrance, she turns slowly around. After all, and Aunt knows her nose. What? Yeah, you kind of cut out for me. What? <laughs> My characters are confused. <laughs> yeah. I basically told him an aunt knows her nephews. So... You, you know my real mother? She's gone. She's gone oh. through the double gates. Oh, I follow. I want to know. Vince, no. I know your blasted mother. Uh, what? And this what is what I do. <laughs> it's on the ground. Uh, Vince is just like... Uh, I would spit on a grave, but she's still alive. Uh, I said woman as she continues to shuffle off. What happened? I would like to know. You want to know what happened? Yes, please. I've never got to meet my mother. Or if you I ever don't... meet, you ever find this individual, ask them. Uh, ask the individual known as Stoat. Stoat? Yes, Stoat. St- S-T-O-A-T. Oh, it's like oh, Stoat, hey, but, but like boat. Yeah, I got it. I uh, ask about Stoat. Or talk to Stoat, I think is what she's saying. Yeah, she basically tells you if you want information on your mother, ask the individual known as Stoat. It was S T O U T, right? S T O A T. Thank you. Stoat. Dyslexia kicked in. I go, uh, where can I find this individual? Story out of your shop. I hear a voice beside you. You're looking for Stoat. I might have information. Yeah. You see the mysterious large rat. Uh, in a cloak, suddenly beside you. Yep. Where did you come from? You are a sneaky guy, aren't you? I've been known, yeah. But this information will come at a price. What would be that price, then? A handful of apples from Redwall. Oh, that's it? So one apple. You said a handful. Yeah, one apple is a handful. All right, I can go get you some apples. I'll be waiting out here. Vince will go out. We'll actually go to. I go try to find. <laughs> she is busy. Up. She is busy with the most extreme. Uh, she has finished off with uh, uh, Opalis, uh, who has her arm bandaged up. Uh, you. She has actually given you uh, the equivalent of that back in the day of painkiller, which ah. she just put some um, some leaves in a bowl. And she burned them, and basically it's relaxing. Oh, so we... <laughs> yep, so you do not comprehend the fact that you're currently in pain. <laughs> well, I see Constance, and I go, Hey, Constance, can I have some some apples? Go ask Friar Hugo. All right. I'm busy. And I go Don't try to find Friar Hugo. Don't you think? Uh, I'm sorry, what did you say? <laughs> Constance sounds kind of different, don't you think? I ask my pillow, because I'm high. <laughs> Ah. Well, another thing that they could have done for you. Your pillow, been... your pillow responds. No, oh, I think all of us are just part of a bigger game played by other people, man. Oh, totally <laughs> like you're just an imaginary character in some sort of tabletop game. I want to try a crab trap. <laughs> Paul just jumps up. I want to eat an entire table. <laughs> you see, you see, Peach is at your feet. She has a pie. Aww, cute little kid. Want a bite? And As you eat a piece of the pie, it's a peach pie. Aww. Her face is currently full of one entire piece of the pie. Her <laughs> cheeks are puffed out and everything. 
I, 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 when I'm done eating, I just pick her up, put her by me. Like, <clears throat> in, in as you meat. go down um, uh, to the uh, Friar Hugo's, uh, Sunflower, what are you doing? I have no idea. <laughs> Let's find something to do. <laughs> Excuse me, Sunflower. Yes? You see Brother Methuselah. Hello, dearie. Hello. Ooh, friends look like they've been through something. What happened? I don't know half of it. Well, would you care to explain the part you do know? I believe I was taken by spiders, and then we ran away from spiders. Ah, let me see. Oh, if you want, I could help you research a way to... Feed the spiders easily. I don't think these spiders are satisfied with simple means, especially I since know. they're kidnapping people. Yes, which we now need to address that. We need to get rid of them. It Would seems, you like? It seems what? It seems we do need to get rid of them. <clears throat> yes. Now, follow me. We'll go to my study. There are quite a few things I have a theory that might work on those blasted spiders. Okay. Apparently, one of the Dibbons thinks he's funny and says that Vince said that all I needed to do was give them a history lesson and talk them to death. <laughs> I don't think they have the attention span for that. That's what I said. He continues slowly along, and so you make it down to Friar Hugo. He's just baking away. Hey, Friar Hugo, can I have some apples? How many do you need? Uh, about a dozen. Oh my, I got appetite. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, here, take this basket. There's all Thank the you. apples you need. Oh, no problem, Sonny. And Vince starts walking out. Thank you, Friar Hugo. Oh, no problem. Where's the lamb sauce? <laughs> when I hear lamb sauce, Vince is just like, that's disturbing. There's real lamb people out there. What the hell? <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, As you go out the uh, doors, uh, you see um, Brother Methuselah uh, wandering off with your sister. He's talking about different ways of like um, how he thinks uh, he can help the fighter problem as you pass along by. <laughs> Don't notice me. <laughs> I do not know like he'll, like all of a sudden he's just right behind you like would you like to hear a history story and like oh. ah! mm. like Eric doesn't mind some history it's just when he gets over too much <laughs> and then that person gave birth to that person and then they lived this many years and had this many children and that person we need gave to birth talk to about that spider person. sir <laughs> ah right Went on a tangent again, didn't I? Yes, sir. I'm sorry, I'm old. <laughs> I understand. I think she's more, she's more understanding towards him. More, uh, she's not annoyed by his presence. She's just understanding that he's old. <laughs> <laughs> As you walk out the double doors, uh, you see the dark rat just sitting there where he said he was. Ah, good. Here's your apples. As he grabs for it. His hands close over yours, and he grabs you really close, and he's like, The creature you are looking for is not a stoat. He's known as a stoat, but he's actually a rat. He is well guarded. He's actually a prisoner in the Toadlands for committing crimes. He is their slave. All right. I'm guessing this is a res rescue mission, then. No. You have to give the toads something in return, just to simply talk. The toads aren't hostile. Ah, they just right. won't allow their slave to go free, not until his scent is up. You just have to give them something equal in return, so that you can talk to Gotcha. Don't mind. <laughs> As he goes, walks off, runs for his away with the apples. And I got a feeling that I'm on a wild goose chase. Scratches the back of his head. <laughs> Um, as we return, uh, to Opalis, who is currently, uh, high off a rocker. I remember that I had a birthday party. There was big strawberry. I talked to, like, the empty can, uh, that the pie was in. The empty tin thing. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> the pie tin is just calmly, like, it nodding its head. And 
laughing. You all know now. Uh, uh, currently, Peach is currently uh, with full belly is currently just unconscious on your bed pillow, just drooling, <laughs> just drooling and very happy. Sleep. I wipe the drool off and then I, I, I wobble out the door to go to uh, Friar Hugo because I have a request. Come on, Python. Go back home. As you walk towards the cafeteria, you have to go from there through the hallways. <clears throat> and as you go down the hallways... <laughs> oh, Polly. Oh, Polly. Yeah? And can did you hear that? Oh, Polly. I, I follow where the voice is coming from. As you, uh, you're just wandering, and all of a sudden, and grabs you on the shoulder. Oh, Paulus! Ah! It's just, just like a backward slap to, uh... And I get an, uh, well, that would be a one. One damage. As you outright punch someone right in the face. Ah! As you see Basil's stag hair is just standing there. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, don't worry I, I about it, little Gary, what, what? Yes, you are. That slap did it. I am so sorry. I got out of it. Oh, I can what tell. What, that? what? With those I injuries, I understand why she gave you those those medicinal herbs. Yeah. Um, do you hear that? I, I, I hear that, that creepy that word that saying, oh, polish your name it. over and over again? Yes. Yeah. Where do you think? I honestly could not tell you. Never happened before with my own? Well, the fact that I hear it also means you're not going crazy, what, what? <clears throat> hey, can you accompany me where go? I of course. <gasps> as you walk towards the uh, Hugo's kitchen, the voice no longer speaks. As you have company. Um, Fred Hugo. Oh, yes. I I have a request to make much trouble. Oh, don't worry, my dear. I love cooking. What is it? I was wondering. Um, did you make another strawberry? Strawberry cake? Yes, please. I want to share it with my friends outside. They weren't. Oh, the rats, you mean? Uh huh. Hmm. It'll take me about two days, but I can manage. Oh, it doesn't have to be big. Oh, no, I must. You want to make it for your friends, no. And I assume you mean all of them. So it'll take me about two days to prepare it all. They're all my friends. It's like her eyes grow wide at the thought of so many friends. Uh, sunflower. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, he's, oh, you're welcome, dear. As we switch over I, to I Sunflower. I give him a big hug and kiss him up. Okay. Oh, my. Uh, as you find yourself in uh, Brother Methuselah's study, he's like, Now, <clears throat> let us strategize about how we're taking down these pesky spiders. Yes, sir. Now, I don't want to get rid of the wood itself, so I'm trying to avoid putting the whole wood afire. That much is true. I know they're afraid of light. But what if we try this? As he produces a scroll instead of a book. Go on, read it. Hold on, there's some really background noise. Sorry if you're hearing stuff from my side. You, uh, you want me to mute myself? Just for a bit. Uh, as, as you inspect this scroll, uh, you notice that he has had plans for this particular area of the moss flower wood. Ori. Wait, isn't that where the snake lives? You see a, a glint of <clears throat> recognition in his eye. Sir, the whole idea... What if we somehow got spiders to attack Asmodeus poison without Asmodeus knowing you were ever there? I don't think he buys brave enough to attack the snake, sir. That's why they're running away from it and coming across our lands. Yes, but what if spiders did not know? As far as I know, and as far as I am aware of the information I have gathered, these spiders do not know that the quarry is home to one Asmodeus poison. They would think it's another place to nest. Seems a little far fetched. Yeah, just a suggestion. Yeah. Uh, another one is an option <coughs> of this particular beauty right here. The moss flower, which 
there opened up a few weeks ago. A swamp most entirely made out of tar. So you want to chase the spiders to the tar lane? Yes, the tar pits. There what if you lured them there? That's quite a bit of ways. He looks again. Oh, yes. Yeah, oh, yes. Oh. It's <sighs> going to be hard to get them to follow us for several days. <sighs> I did not bother. Yes. Um, do you have any ideas? I know fire's out of the suggestion, but you think smoke will help? Smoke without the fire? Strokes well, his beard. I know there was a honey farm not close to the sunflower fields that used smoke to make some bees, you know, unharmful. So Sleepy. Was, yeah. So if we use the smoke, maybe it would have the same effect. I hope maybe. so. But I where would we at least get that much smoke? Their senses. I, we can make try and make a bonfire at the same time. Oh, wait, I did she see not. the um zombie spiders staring at fire? Yes, yes, she did. She ran right by them. We, I saw some those things. She kind of tilts her head, staring at fire the whole time. I think they're actually attracted to it, so it wouldn't. They hate sunlight. They love. Right thing, however. So I would say it'd be easy to make like a campfire, and as they attract, we can easily make the smoke from it. Big enough fire where it won't set fire to the moss flower woods, but it would create a sleeping effect. Genius, my dear. But we'll have to employ some help, and I know just the people to do it. Oh? Yes, it's a family of mice at St. Ninian's. Do I know that Saint, place? Yes, okay, yes, you do. St. Ninian's Church is a, a place where any, like, woodland creatures that might lose their home to, like, natural disasters go to eat food and seek shelter. It's sort of a homeless shelter. Uh, I'd be just a little weary because apparently she looks around. The rats are coming? I don't get it. Scourge, um, he said he wanted to, she quotes her fingers, help us. Ah, yes, they've been fortifying our defenses. It's been off, honestly. Uh, I, if you could, yes. Miss Sunflower, find us some allies, just in case. And when it happens, if Clooney ever turns on us, I would suggest... One individual, if you can contact him, bounty hunter name, Silas. Uh, how are you met? Oh, good. He's currently looking, she paws, and then put, puts her paw to her face. Uh, for a female fox. What, that just got kicked out of here? Yes, which my brother was... Oh, she's doomed. Yeah. Well, maybe you might capture a lot. <laughs> uh, <coughs> uh, as... Vince, as you're walking back towards Redwall Abbey after giving um apples to this mysterious individual, you hear a rattling noise from where you saw uh, Sheila, uh, Sheila go off. Direction of. Vince will go investigate. Uh, as you go investigate, you s uh, see Sheila is clearly frightened. Then abruptly something grabs her and is like almost squeezing the life out of her. Now it's time I claim that bounty, well, little woman. Vince will actually run forward and Vince goes, hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. As you see it from the shadows, you see a gigantic rattlesnake with a horn protruding from his head come out of the darkness. You got a problem, boy? Well, Vince just goes, turns out she's my aunt. Can you please not kill her? She's wanted alive for her crimes. I'm dead. Oh, well, why are you squeezing her like to death? I'm not. Oh, eh. She's currently trying to escape from my coils. Wait, I know you. you. You know me? Little Vince, part of that mercenary. Yeah. You, oh, you it's a me? pleasure. The name's Silas, bounty hunter extraordinaire. Ah, well, everybody's got to make a living, right? Scratches his head. 
was just not sure if you're uh, Can killing I do a history not. check? I get a right. history check from. Give me a second. Uh, come on, game. Give okay. me a good roll. Okay. Uh, you know that he is uh, an extremely rare species known as uh, uh, he's uh, a great horned rattlesnake. They're mainly seen uh, to the south of Salamandastron near the swamplands and toadlands. Uh, they're not normally seen because they keep to themselves. And the fact that they only eat toads and fish. Ah. As you see, your aunt is busy trying to bite this giant snake. But her teeth are doing nothing against his armor. Vince just goes, what did she do? She is wanted for crimes against a very wealthy individual. Uh, specific? Or specifics? She told a false fortune to this individual, and he ended up dying because of it. So his family sent out a wanted poster. I accepted. They wanted her alive to pay for her crimes. Vince uh, sighs and just looks at her. Vince goes, really? Oh, we're supposed to be like good at what we do. What we do. Vince. <laughs> I'm the, I never I'm said least. I was Ooh. accurate. And the snake has, hears this and he goes, you always say that your fortunes are 100% accurate, woman. <sighs> You have more poison in your words than I do in my entire body. If you wanted, were wanted dead or alive, I would be taking your soul to the afterlife. I'd rather you not, personally, because she's the only living relative that I know at the moment. I don't go against my bounty instructions. I know. I know I don't have the money to even pay you off for this either, so... Not even close. Yeah. They offer me quite the bounty. What do you think her punishment's, punishment's going to be? I already know what her punishment's going to be. Uh, what would that be? Community service. Oh, I just look at her. I just go, you do realize you are getting off very easy. And by community service, I mean taking care of the family's blood second leeches. What's the leeches are? In this world, leeches are roughly the size of your arm. Yeah, that's scary. Yeah, kind of. So Cringeworthy a little bit. <laughs> Vince just goes, you're going to blood letter or something? That is correct. He's yeah. going to extract the blood that they suck. Yeah, she'll survive the process, right? If she's careful. Yeah. It's kind of like, uh, have you ever seen the uh, King Kong movie with Jack Black? Yes. You know those worms at the bottom of the quarry? I believe I know what you're talking about. The ones that ate the people. The ones with the teeth. Yeah. Yeah, imagine those. Jeez. He has to be extremely careful. Well, it's whoever is placing them technically is the one that has to be careful. Mm, sure. Anywho, uh, it's 55, so we're going to end it there. All right. All right. Um, Vince is, before we go, though, Vince is just going to look at his, uh, his aunt and go, you're going to be alive at least, so, and I can't do anything to save you here. He's too big of a, I can't fight him. <laughs> I straight up pointed out. I can't fight him. He, he's only a little bit he, he, like uh, Asmodeus poison teeth is gargantuan size. I know. Size. He, uh, Silas is huge size. Yeah, but it's still more of he's a professional bounty hunter. Yeah. I'm doing, I'm not going to this, this guy is a legendary bounty hunter who's been doing this for years. I just go, well, Silas, if, uh, if she ever gets free, let me know. I'll take care of her. Not in that way, but you know what I mean. Family. He nods. And he proceeds to slither off with her in tow. And she's like, you son of a bitch! <laughs> she's crying. She's begging to be let go. Well, my character, I know I can't stop him. <laughs> I know my limits. You know what I mean? So it's like, Yeah, you're and... not suicidal. <laughs> and, I, and I'm like, she's gonna be alive, so... Yeah. Or you know what I tell Silas? Bring her to me specifically. I'll take care of her afterwards. 